Hey guys, this is Stein from Sam Lab Tech and Alpha C Multimedia. Um, I had a quick question um, that I wanted I wanted to address. A Dennis Hayes Jr. asked me on the channel on one of our videos that I don't see the Macintosh folder on my MacBook. It's not in my Finder, so I told him I'll do a quick tutorial on that. Okay, so here it goes. I don't want to keep it long. So first things first. Okay, um, step one: open a new Finder folder. Okay. Step two, navigate to the finder at the top menu, go to preferences, and usually it's gonna be in general, okay? A quick note here, if you wanna see certain drives on your desktop, this is where you turn it on so you see it. So right now, usually only external drives show. If you wanna see your Mac, Macintosh HD on your desktop, this is where you turn it on so you see it. You are not seeing it because I'm hiding my the um, icons and you know folders on my desktop okay great so I just wanted to show you that real quick so we did step two so step three you go to your your sidebar very simple and the part that you're gonna turn the Macintosh HD on or your 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 your, your the, um, the folder that our brother is talking about is in locations okay in locations you're gonna turn this on my name is Stein your name is gonna be whatever MacBook Pro okay Minus Stein, so that's why it says that, okay? So once you do that, you realize that now it shows up here in locations, okay? How do we know it was not already there? Well, watch it. When I turn it off, it's no longer there. When I turn it on, it's back. Off, on. You guys got it? Great. Same way if there were certain things you didn't want to see here. For example, if it's too many stuff here and you're like, okay, I don't want to see applications, then you take it off, okay? Maybe I want I don't want to see airdrop, okay? Then you simply take it off and airdrop goes away. And then you put it back and it comes back, okay? But the only thing for you to keep in mind is anytime you keep doing that, it's gonna keep rearranging it. So if you like to have it in a specific order, you're gonna have to rearrange it, okay? But um that is just um you know something by the way. Okay, maybe if I don't want to see um pictures, then I take it off and pictures goes away, okay? And it's back, okay? Great. So one question I would like to talk about, um, address here is, what is the difference between Stein Owusu here and what is the difference between this here, okay? So this is basically like the the local the local drive, okay? Let's put it that way. It's like a local drive. So all these things that you are seeing on the sidebars, recent and all that stuff, is grouped together on your local drive, okay? So does it make sense for you to have your local drive um, in the same section where all these things are grouped? That's why I have mine turned off. So you realize something. When I click on that local drive, you realize applications come, Creative Cloud come, desktop documents, that, that, that. That is the same stuff that we are putting over here. So to me, it makes the most sense if you don't want it on the sidebar to simply turn everything off, okay? It makes the most sense that way and just simply keep just that one thing that will bring that up okay i feel like that makes the most sense if you want to use it that way but if you're going to have a sidebar to me i feel like it's not needed to have the local drive again okay so i'll turn all this back on okay all right and i'll take time and rearrange it the way i want it later i just want to show you the brief steps okay so once again the most important thing about this lesson is to simply turn this um, MacBook Pro on in the location section okay great so let's walk through the steps one more time one last time and I'll let go I'll let go okay so first things first step one navigate to the final folder okay step two um, navigate to the finder um, at the top menu then go to preferences okay step three okay it's gonna be in general most times because you could have you could have not used the computer from months ago. It can can be it's the new computer, so most times it's gonna be in general. Okay, so it only it only comes here because it comes back to whatever you were last using. Okay, so anyways, step two, you go to the finder, go to preferences, and once it brings up preferences, okay, you go over to the sidebar. Okay, and then your final step, you're gonna find the locations folder. So in three simple steps, you're able to do this. Okay. And simply, uh, right now, it's not there. The moment we turn it on, it comes available. Okay? All right? And how do we know that is it? We come in here, and there, go there it goes. Okay? So that's how 
we get our Macintosh HD to show up in our Finder. I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Um, once again, this is time from Sound Lab Tech. I hope you have enjoyed um, this video. See you in the next lesson. Have a good one. Bye.